Is that supposed to be like that? I feel like it's not. Hopefully, no, this is worse. Whilst we can zoom in and the resolution will probably be fine because it looks like it's, I don't know, about the same resolution, but I can't actually see anything from here because my eyes are shit and also it's just really tiny. Ow. I don't know why I said ow. Did that all the time? It's probably a defense mechanism for some <laughs> pity. Just weird um, psychoanalysis of myself before we start. Oh, it has fixed itself. Although that is still really tiny, I'm not sure if that's going to change. Bloody hell. It's on 4K settings. Hello Internet, I'm Fireball and welcome to Civilization 5 part 28. Again. We're into parts now. Right, so last time. We finally got Oxford University, although that was kind of underwhelming, if I'm honest. But meh. We finished the Apollo program. Uh, we went to Japan very briefly because um, Korea took over their cities. And there was just sort of Tokyo here, which isn't their capital in this game because there's a weird historical thing about that to do with various shogun empires and stuff. But um, basically we just because it was sort of like an enclave of our territory anyway it was entirely within our borders no one else could get to it it was just sort of eh, may as well just knock japan off the map one less person to vote against us in the world congress we're very democratic and we're very for freedom just like the cia we um finished the manhattan project and have started production of atomic bombs in wheatley which was intended for seoul but uh, we're probably going to take that before that's finished anyway. So I don't know what we'll use it for. We have got a carrier over here uh, that's been produced that we could possibly carry it basically to anywhere in the world. The only one that I think we might want to attack that we probably couldn't is Istanbul just because it's quite far inland and we haven't got any cities nearby and you can't uh, like uh, carry an atomic bomb overland because it's a, it's a plane with like limited range. And I think it like it's a range of ten or something like that. Briefly over here, um, uh, Indonesia started to go to war with America. They've taken Boston already. It looks like they're moving on to New York. Oh yeah, the other one that we might not be able to get would be like Rio, but we're allies with uh, with Brazil anyway. And we could probably get that anyway. Basically, I think we could get almost any city in the world that we would reasonably want to. Just not Istanbul, but I don't think the Ottomans are that much of a threat. The main place I'd want to drop it on is Athens, but honestly, I, I, I've i done really well this time round uh, playing this, because I usually, I've just forgotten what I named these things, um, I usually never do this well. I usually have like five, maybe up to eight cities at most, and a few of them get taken or I might be squished down but I've got over 30 now and I'm looking to expand <laughs> it's just mental what you can do sometimes but basically uh, in terms of science I think I'm a fair way ahead of pretty much anyone and I'm the only one that's completed the Apollo project uh, program in terms of diplomacy that was the main thing that I was worried about having any competition with I've uh, pretty much ousted Greece, uh, World Congress, just quickly. Yeah, I have more seats than Greece. Basically, next time that there is actually a vote on who gets to be host, I will probably win that vote unless something changes between then and now. And that means that I'll have even more of a lead because he's getting a bonus from being the host and I'll get a bonus from being the host if I win that. So I'm clear on that front. I might actually win on that front. Th those seem like the... Uh, most likely options for victory. It's unlikely that anyone will win by uh, conquest or victory, but clearly, if anyone is going to, it seems like it would be me. It would be a big task to take all of this. I mean, you only actually need to take the capital. Well, you don't actually need to take them. You only need to be the last player with their original capital owned by yourself, basically. I could theoretically win that way. I don't know like why I'd really want to. Jesus, 34 in one city is too much. 
Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna probably take Soul, because it's got fuck all defense. Like, honestly, um, defense of 55? What's, like, my worst city? Probably Drift, actually, which has a defense of 78, and it hasn't even got any units in it. I think that's just by virtue of being in the Great Wall, which seemed a bit weird, because I think, I think it's meant to be obsolete because of dynamite, but I think you still get the bonus from it being a wall, it's just that it doesn't incur a movement penalty, which was one of the main things that it did originally. We did actually do quite a lot last time. Oh yeah, we started um, international games, so we're just gonna have probably a few places doing that in the background. We might have a bit of a happiness problem. We did really pull that back uh, the other episode though, so we'll see what we can do about that. We have already started producing some happiness things in a few places, but We'll sort of alternate between that and uh, the international games. Like here, there's nothing that gives us happiness as far as I can tell. So there's no real point in producing anything like that. So I may as well just work for international games here. Which is pretty big for our biggest production centre. Although I could produce an atomic bomb there. No, I think I'll just stick to the two for now. Because I might want some nuclear plants as well. I don't want to just be keeping them around. But, um, like, these guys, is there anything these guys could go for? See, I think these guys have got a stadium. Oh, they haven't actually got a Coliseum. Yeah, I should probably get on that. See, my mind was just blanking because I was looking for a zoo or stadium. I didn't realise that some places still didn't have Coliseums. So it seems to be a little way. We've had that for a while. Uh, but something like Maestro, it might take a bit too long for stadium. I don't know. I might want to also just pay attention to more specific things that places we need as well. Uh, but in most places, it's, it's sort of a more general thing. Uh, the, the other victory is culture victory, but there's no way that anyone, I think, is going to get that, because the closest person, I think, still is me, and, yeah, the closest... Oh, we're actually India as well. Uh, we have one each. Oh, wow. We're causing civil resistance in Arabia and Greece because of our freedom ideology. China, and that might be why a few more places have actually adopted that, because it's just much better for them doing that. In Korea, they're having a revolutionary wave because of it. Uh, largely, well, mainly because of my freedom, but also because of the rest of the world's freedom. Some from autocracy in Polynesia, but the only other place doing order is Arabia, and they're miles away. So geography has quite a big impact on this, and seeing as I'm pretty much everywhere, I, I'm pretty much influential of everyone in some way, I'm rising everywhere. Uh, influential of the Aztecs, which probably nothing's going to happen there yet, and about to become influential of Iroquois and Mongolia and Korea if I don't kill them first. Is there really only that many civilizations left? Jesus. Yeah, there's only 15 civilizations left, and I've killed most of them. I mean, I f fair enough, um, I had nothing to do with Russia dying. No, I think that might be it, that I didn't actually have anything to do with a civilization collapsing. Uh, France, Spain, Netherlands, I took down, England took down, Zulus, I took down, Japan, I took down, although Korea did most of the work there. Uh, you guys, you're probably a state of I do want to just brace for happiness things as much as possible. Uh, including in that would be things like banks, but, um, I've got quite a lot of money right now, like I can afford, I think everything on here, no not quite, I can't afford an atomic bomb, but I might want to actually just keep that around for um, influence, I mean the main thing would be like city connections, like um, I mean Roast is doing a heartburst, so there's no real point there, I can't really do much over here uh, to do with city connections unless I get another city that's coastal, which might be Delhi? It might be worth actually building an atomic bomb for that, or just buying an atomic bomb. I might just save up to buy an atomic bomb if I fancy that, rather than spending production on that. Yeah, go for a zoo. Uh, stadium's too much there. Eh, why not? And these guys can just roll in in here, and that means that I can... I mean, a Korean great profits, probably working in my benefit, to be honest, because um, whilst I think... I don't know... No, I think they are majority Satanists, but that's because of Japan. I don't actually know what the religion in um, Jonju is. Uh, Islam, not really surprising, because it's surrounded by Arabia. Wow, I'm actually surprised um, uh, India's managed to keep Mumbai Hindu, uh, Hindu all the way over here. 
that's quite an effort to go to. But I guess once you convert it once, you don't really need to do it again. I'm just going to capture that, and I believe it's now mine, although it's, ah, it's Buddhist now, so I might have to kill it. But at least it's not going to go converting anything now. Jeez, England's Buddhism staying around for a while because it, it just sort of get because they really push spreading that. It's just been sort of perpetuated, I think. See, I think I might actually end up being allies with Indonesia or something in the end because I've got some really good trade going on with them and they've chosen freedom. I, don't, I, d I doubt I'm actually going to make allies with anyone before the end of this. And we march on Seoul. Oh, and they've got riflemen. How cute. I, I almost feel bad. Honestly, this is just unnecessary now. Well, at least they'll have plenty left over to deal with Busan. Oh yeah, also Arabia, in a really weird formation, is attacking Germany. Don't know what will come of that, I don't think anyone's taken any cities yet. But Arabia has actually got a fairly big empire. Uh, looks like they took some things off of... A blatant attack on your interests. Yes, it is, because I want freedom to be the world ideology. Even though I'm attacking everyone that disagrees, but shh. Therefore, order, whatever. Oh, it does look like they are going to take Berlin uh, next turn, maybe. Yeah, they have got quite a big empire. It stretches uh, over two continents, basically. Like, an entire coast of the world is um, coated with um, Arabian cities. Oh, I'm being attacked. My coastal cities are being attacked. Oh, fuck. They're going to go fuck with my trade route. Oops, and actually getting really fucked up there. Oh, shit. Genghis Khan just declared war in Iroquois. I think they did ask me to do that before. Well, like, I just can't get my troops down there fast enough, I don't think. I think my best option is probably call off some of my troops, go and attack Mongolia in some capacity, or at least defend Lundi. Uh, people would point say it's by a country mile as me. Um, I feel like you guys have... Just attack these guys. The Iroquois can try and defend themselves. I don't actually worry that much about Mongolia in terms of demographics. They're the lowest tech nation, at least. America's doing really bad, apparently. So is the Aztecs in that sense. The Iroquois doing bad in production. But, um... I don't know. Since they are my biggest ally, I should probably go and help them. Okay, I think there's more than enough here. Could probably call off at least some of the units here because this is actually just too much it's just going to take up too much space you guys can get down there quickly i think that's why you're probably the most useful to go down there i'm going to declare war on mongolia uh first just going to ask brazil if they fancy helping since they're my only ally 10 turns i feel like that's fair i might just put this guy down there just to sort of block the way for some of them to actually get there. I've not got a navy either to do any of this. It's really irritating. I haven't got visibility. I uh, just moved these guys in so I get visibility and then I can start firing. This won't be a necessarily an easy war, but um... Wait, was that on Seoul? Holy shit, is that half already? Yeah, that's gone next turn. Okay, we can wrap this up war up really quickly. I feel like they can probably take the entire Korean Empire on their own. They can probably hold their own. I'm going to start moving these guys down to... Where's the best staging ground for this? I feel like Kiev is the best place to go at the moment. Uh, so I'm just going to start sending some people down there. And I might look at um, declaring war on Arabia. I'm not sure. Just to try and stop them from attacking uh, Iroquois. I'm not sure what the situation is in the Lundi, but it could it looks like it could be taken. You got all your happiness things. Go for international games. Roast. Uh you got a harbour now. Uh go for a zoo. Stoned. Go for a market because that's a really basic building. It does look like this is gonna be taken. Yeah, especially considering they're attacking it with what what looks like lancers. Yeah, if if I did declare war on Arabia that would uh, mainly hurt my allies, so I don't really want to do that. If Polynesia's uh, made peace with Iroquois, which is a good thing all around. These guys are real bastards. It's particularly their navy, but once I actually, if I take their cities, because I think, I don't think I put complete kills on. Complete kills is when um, 
You have to destroy every unit. There's a Greek coup in Sydney. Bastards. Hang on, I'll have to go fix that with money in a sec. I have got an idea for Karakorum. It's a bit extreme, but it is essentially dropping a bomb on it. Dropping a bomb on quite a few places, actually. Uh, maybe Mecca, Athens, and Karakorum. Basically anyone who fucks with me. Sick connection broken, places starving. Yeah, they're going at this head on. Uh, have I lost any trade routes yet? No, but I am unhappy because I've lost quite a few city connections because of this. Oh, yeah, they blockaded Rome itself, which caused a lot of problems because basically anywhere with a harbour now doesn't have a city connection. Uh, I'd say probably best option, I don't know, uh, cover maybe. Uh, you guys can actually move up to deal with Kyoto because you... yeah, this is an awkward position. Most of these guys are actually in safe positions to attack these cities. Uh, even as infantry units, so I'm not really that worried about this. Okay, you guys range attack there. This rocket artillery though is fucking brilliant. Look at that instantly just gone. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And how much does Alex? Increase happiness by 30, unhappiness by 36. I don't think that's quite an option. 26 is bad and I can't raise it. So um, I'm kind of stuck with this. But I've now got soul. Uh, only problem is I'm going to start some revolutions right now. Okay, well, I should wrap this war up quickly. I just wish there weren't so many people in the world. Colosseum here, very easy thing to do. Happiness buildings pretty much everywhere, if I can do that. I have some ideas. Uh, if I go and attack Mongolia, give that all to the Iroquois. Because I can I just don't want to rule it, basically. I'm fine with ruling this stuff, because I don't think it really makes sense to give that to someone, because it's just not nearby enough. Uh, if I did attack Arabia, then I could give that to uh, Brazil. It, although it does look like these guys are about to take this back. Possibly. So, you know, whatever. And that's in resistance for 12 turns. I've still got 25 fucking people. I thought it halved the people in it when you conquered something, but apparently not. It just reduces it somewhat. They have got a fucking massive navy here. It's a costly war, but if I can basically bum rush these guys. They seem grass from Singapore. Okay, I need to pay for some people and uh, Sydney and Singapore. And then buy a nuclear weapon yeah why not oh i should also make sure that everyone that can fire on someone does fire on someone you guys heal instantly does look like they're all rushing to go and attack soul uh, just to capture these workers uh yeah quickly just fix this situation uh that should do that jesus they have actually paid quite a bit for that well and for a penny and for a pound and just make sure these guys stay loyal. These guys are actually starving. Oh, I need to also make sure no cities cede to anyone else. Just make everything produce happiness buildings. If it's an option, I'm doing it. As I continue against all wisdom to attack cities that would lose me loads of happiness. Whatever. You know, whoever needed common sense in their policy. Oh, they can only actually power drop where we can see. That's a big problem as well. Okay, well, we'll keep them on standby. I'm trying to work out something for, like, gifting cities to various people. It's basically just Brazil and Neo quite that I have as options for that. Mongolia feels like a natural choice for those guys, but it's sort of... These guys are in an awkward position. I still don't actually know what's between these areas. You know, there, there could be way more of Brazil there. I just will never know. <sighs> you will pay for this. I did um, agree to protect Brussels just because it would give me some influence with them. Yeah, Arabia are playing... Oh, Jesus. It does seem like a lot of people are still using riflemen though, which is nice to see that I'm well ahead in terms of tech. It does look like they could very easily actually take Seoul back, which to be honest, would, I would welcome. 
I don't know why I called this war in the first place. I just saw some line that was like, eh, it's awkward having to go around your border and you're being dicks in general, so I'll just take that. Just see, Alundi's under attack again, but when isn't it? Looks like my city-states are hitting back nicely though, although they are using cannons, which isn't exactly encouraging. They just captured that. Oh yeah, privateers can do that because they're basically pirates. Well, Government-funded pirates. We've got some rebels here. Who are all rocket artillery. We might want to go deal with that. Uh, not rocket artillery as in that, but like, SAMs. Uh, that's in surface to a missile. Also, just quickly, there's no point of making bombers here. What are you doing? Bail build a stadium, please. Thank you. See, I don't know what these guys actually necessarily do. I think they're technically melee units. Know, I might just move my guys towards them to go deal with them. Just stalemate with them at the moment. I do have an idea of just like running away. And if they take soul, then it's their mess to clean up. I've got a carrier here now. Not sure why I want that station. I'm not sure what the rules are with um like moving bases with the atomic bombs. How long did it take you to get hit? 11 turns just to go outside Karakoram. Uh, you guys, uh, what's the fastest thing? That yeah, Zoo, thank you. We're not going to cede any cities to anyone anymore, at least for the moment. Aria, please uh, get on it. Stadium. Zoo for you guys. You guys just take Osaka. Oh, did you not get take Osaka? Not sure who actually wins in this situation. Oh, it's you guys. Annexing increases by 8. Puppeting increases by 5. Let's just puppet everything over here and deal with the consequences afterwards. Indonesia denouncing a lot of people there. It's plundered quite a few trade routes of mine as well, but if I'm honest, I'm okay for money. Sijong has also declared war on Hiawatha, which is even more reason to take over his ship. I could gift a lot of this to Iroquois or Brazil. I just want to get rid of this navy, I'm honest. And you guys, just attack Kyoto. Wow, that was quick. Took that over very quickly. Great puppet. Oh dear, we're back in an even worse situation. Now I've just got Busan to take and then all this navy will go away. Polynesia, by the way, is absolutely trapped here. There's just one ship here, so if they attack me, I'm fucked there. And we are now culturally influential of the Iroquois. That's nice. Hopefully they're one that will actually stick around uh, more than five seconds after I become culturally influential of it. I mean, it's still entirely possible for them to take back Seoul. But I think just by virtue of me owning it, like it gets a massive defense bonus or something. They are just pouring their navy in here, which is great. It means that they're just throwing it all like that. On the plus side, all of this is already connected to my empire. <laughs> I've only got Busan to take and they're out of the game. Oh wait, no they're not. Okay, well I might consider it if, if they're willing to make a peace deal. They usually aren't actually at this point. Negotiate peace. Nope, it's not my choice, I guess. My choice is to just run away from those guys and see what I can do with like trade deals later. I might just gift cities to people, see what I can get money-wise. Vegemite. They can get a stock exchange that might help with money as well. I mean, we don't have a money problem. It's just, I would like to... I mean, it gives us happiness as well, which is good. It's just sort of tackling uh, more than one problem at once. See, I thought Mongolia might actually be a problem for the Uruguay, but I don't think they've actually attacked them yet. Doesn't honestly look like these guys could just take Seoul back, and I'm actually okay with that. If I get everything else, this is actually a really big problem for me having this city at all. If I do get peace though, uh, I might just gift that to Brazil or something. Or well, the Iroquois. I mean, the Iroquois have suffered a lot. And bonus of also gifting that to someone else means all these rebellions are someone else's problem for the moment. I mean, I might have to go repair some things, but. Also, Caroland, when I get the chance, I'm just going to take you off of bomber duty because I don't know why I bothered producing things like that. Also, a side effect of um, really low happiness is that I think every point of unhappiness lowers my production. They are also going on to attack the exact wrong people, but I don't think they can actually do ranged attacks, so they can't really attack the Korean Navy over here. City he becomes religious, stoned, becomes Satanist. Didn't know it became any other religion. 
Colosseum immediately and like I said, you do not need to be doing this. It looks like the most useful thing you can make is a stock exchange. Uh, I've actually could produce an atomic bomb just on the sneaky side up here just in case anyone fucks with me. And then just pummel this to shit. Just gonna try and get rid of as many of these guys as possible. It is sad when the biggest military force you have to contend with is your own rebels. And we can just take that. Pop it. And we're up to 32 in happiness. Now, we have taken all the main Korean cities. The only other place would be Jeonju, but I don't fancy going down there. And I've kind of got a situation on my hands. Uh, so, I mean, if you guys are wanting peace, I am all is really yep i'm fine with peace wouldn't mind just a little bit of gold fine just peace cool okay now let's negotiate deals to just make this fuck off because i can't deal with this anymore i'm gonna go sell some things on to brazil and the iroquois how to divvy this up though i am planning to go on the offensive against um mongolia right after this uh, it looks like they're actually attacking the capital, so I should probably get on that. I think I'll keep Kyoto and Osaka, uh, give Seoul and Busan to that, uh, to Brazil, and probably take most of Mongolia and give them to the Uruguay. That seems fair and sensible. Okay, Seoul there, and Busan. What will you give me for this? Any deal which should result in an unfair exchange for you? I do not mind. All I ask for is some gold. A defensive pack would be great. Offer is generous, I accept. Taking a whole load off my plate. Now we just have a little pocket of Brazil here and they can actually help us. Wow, Germany is still hanging on by a thread there. I guess the happiness thing isn't so necessary anymore, but um, I mean, as soon as people are in position, I'm willing to just declare war on these guys. Uh, just get some more artillery down here. Germany lost its capital. That was a while coming. Uh, Okay, I mean, I'm not going to be mean to you, but, like, I don't get... They just made, like, a declaration of protection for Wittenberg, whatever, but they've been my ally for ages. Yeah, I don't care, America. You don't. China looks like it's gearing up for war, but, um, uh, just a sec. Yeah, that is... I was just checking, whatever they've got up there isn't a atomic bomb, but they can't, no one else in the world other than me, unless there's a way of capturing atomic bombs, which I don't think there is, can produce atomic bombs, so I'm safe. And we got a new social policy. Uh, so what's our level three ones? Space procurement can buy uh, spaceship parts with gold. Honestly, that might be pretty good. Uh, we haven't actually got that many broadcast towers, I don't know of any. And four more influence per turn with city states you have a trade route with. I don't have any city state trade routes, so that's kind of useless. Space procurements is interesting, I might get onto that. Combat strength of cities increased by 33%, that's not really a problem. Happiness from water mills, hospitals and medical labs, that seems like a good idea if I'm honest. Specialist cities uh, produce half the amount of normal and happy. yeah, definitely. 100% 79 happiness fucking hell hang on yeah whatever I'm getting these cities back what do you want for them I'll give you cotton wine salt cocoa fucking 50 gold no bastard no. Uh, plus a thousand gold gift just for soul stingy fucking bastard guess I'm not getting that back maybe should have held off trading them Hang on, I need to go get Anandaga back for these guys. Unless Arabia takes it. I'll have to see about that. Oh, I think I'm actually inside their city. That might be where they're a bit concerned. I don't know why I gave them to Brazil either. They didn't help at all. But at least we don't have a happiness problem anymore. Uh, I do think we need to rebuild some trade routes. So you guys, seeing as we don't need to work on happiness anymore, everyone should be really be working on international games uh, once they're finished with whatever they're currently doing. Not even for Busan. No. You're an arsehole. Maybe it's because I just gave it to him, but I gave him a really generous offer as well. At least we've got a defensive pack now. Should we get a defensive pack with the Iroquois? What? Really should have given these guys that city because I feel like they'd be way more thankful for it, really. And actually, they're closer, so it makes sense for them to have it. I did get Kyoto and Osaka from this, so this war wasn't entirely fruitless. I uh, think about renaming these, though. 
can I edit it from being actually I can annex these immediately because um not gonna cause me much problems anymore is it you guys courthouses both of you uh, this is a Hitchhiker's reference, um, if I just edit this quickly, Heart of Gold, and what could you guys do? You got truffles, gems, there's, there's a more areas gems, you guys have really got fuck all. On the plus side, I do own the whole of the UK now, so I'm not sure what to name this though, it is essentially just France, got a perfect name for it, I mean neither language makes much sense. That's yes, close enough. I mean, I don't actually think Wales is on this. I mean, it's kind of a bit blobby, but that's sort of Scotland there, roughly. That looks sort of like Land's End. It looks like they've just sort of cut off Wales there. Maybe it's that bit there, but that looks more like the Midlands and that would be the southeast or east of England, whatever. We have got Wales there now, which is nice. And also, these guys are already Satanists, so, you know, perfect. I don't have to bother converting anybody. Didn't realise these guys haven't actually got a road, um, a railroad going anywhere. Might just gift these guys, because I can't be bothered using them. And going to try and get as many people down to Onondaga before that gets taken. Uh, but I fear it's probably going to get taken. Hopefully by someone that I am able to go to war with. Uh, Bismarck's made peace with Arabia after that, and India's being dickheads. America's lost its capital. Oh, Indonesia's doing a full takeover over here. Should maybe watch out for them a bit, but just have to see about that. Pedro's just entered the modern era. Well, I don't have to worry about people being ahead of me in tech at least. Interestingly, I don't know how many people actually still have their capital, because it might actually be a viable option to go for, um, Conquest. I'm now influential Mongolia. I'm about to conquer them, so. Onondaga has been captured by Mongolia. Whilst that's bad, it's also good that it was Mongolia, not someone else, because it means that I am fine to declare war on them. I can just declare war on them and sort that myself. But they will regret it because their entire civilization is about to cede to the Iroquois. Courtesy of my massive army. Ecology. Presented by the present century as one species, man, acquired significant power to alter the nature of his world. Wait. Frightening. I can have five recycling centers in my empire and that gives me two aluminum. It is aluminum in this case. It should be aluminium, but whatever. Um, unfortunately, you can only get five of these in your empire. I don't know why. I mean, it's a really big problem for like, an empire of my size because I need way more aluminium just to sustain it, I guess, but whatever. It's mainly for units. Anyway, uh, just go for a solar plant here, I guess. Why don't you guys build Sydney? Oh, a Sydney Opera House, of course, has to be coastal because that makes sense. You guys go for a solar plant as well. I doubt you're doing the Sydney Opera House. You can do international games. How are we doing on the international games, by the way? 20% complete. So far, we have contributed over the silver medal line, so we're probably going to be well over that uh, if we want to win. That's good to know. Uh, research, next research, though. Now, this is interesting. Uh, atomic era-wise, we could go for combined arms, which would give us uh, the option of building the Pentagon, which would decrease the gold cost of upgrading military units. However, the gold cost isn't really an issue for me, it's mainly that a lot of the things right now need aluminium, which I just don't have. I don't know, it seems like not a lot of it's actually spawned. Um, you also get machine gun, uh, sorry, uh, tanks and anti-tank guns, but to be honest I don't really care about that. Uh, with computers you get helicopter gun shipped and uh, great firewall, but I don't really need that. That's just more military unit stuff. All of this is just military unit stuff, stuff that I don't actually really need. So I can probably ignore this entire bottom line uh, for the moment. Satellites is interesting, uh, gives SS cockpit, uh, Hubble Space Telescope, which is cool, and reveals the entire map, that seems like one of the best options. Advanced Ballistic Nuclear Missiles do require two uranium, uh, but it's worth looking at. Uh, SS Booster, well that's another good point. If I'm having to conserve aluminium uh, for my spaceship parts. Uh, can you free SS boosters to win uh, science victory uh, with advanced ballistics? Uh, telecommunications, nuclear submarine. Yeah, invisible to all units except destroyers. 
Uh, bomb shelters which use population loss from nuclear attacks. CNN, uh, CN Tower. Free broadcast tower in all cities. That seems really good. Plus one population each city and plus one happiness per city. That's like 30 happiness for me. Although that like gets offset by the population, whatever. National visitor centre as well. Must have a hotel in all cities. That's never going to happen. Mechanised infantry just from mobile tactics. I'm interested in seeing what telecommunications might give me. Want to get that just for the CN Tower. Uh, I honestly might as well declare war on these guys early. Because uh, I think I can do that. They have denounced us. I haven't actually denounced them. I have got a trade route with them at the moment. But you know whatever. I may fail to overcome you but whatever. Okay, priority is actually um, taking this place over though. So if you aren't going there already please go there. Uh, you guys had to just concentrate on beating our own rebels away. We're a bit disorganised there, but Brazil should join us soonish. Oh shit, Arabia's taken over quite a bit. They took over Hamburg, they're burning that to the ground. They're taking over anything else? Shit, that might become a problem because it looks like they probably are going to try and move. It, it would be difficult for them to get through the mountains, but it's possible and then they're a problem for me. Should keep an eye on that. I, I might actually win the game before then though, so it's just sort of biding my time. Help is on the way, Iroquois. Germany has denounced Arabia. They have made peace though. Oh yeah, for another point, they have made peace, which means that they're not going to go and attack Frankfurt or Munich, so there is still that buffer there. I think I can spare some marble. Either way, I've got tons of happiness. Like that policy is a lifesaver if you got this many cities. Oh, Kazil's my friend now. Cool. And we wade in here, but it honestly looks kind of empty. Besh Ballot looking fairly undefended, uh, but that's to be expected because they weren't expecting a war from us at this point in time. We have got a safe attack here, but I doubt we'll be able to take the city on our own. Though in all honesty, it's got 34 defense. I could take it, I think, uh, with relative ease. Just keep attacking these rebels here. I'm excited to get nukes. Just who to actually use them on there as well. Can't decide which asshole. Oh, I've lost Antwerp as an ally. Guessing that's oh to Arabia actually. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, just a sec. There we go. We should be at 14 in the World Congress, I believe. Yes. Yeah, I should probably just get out of here until I can actually attack. Oh wait, no, there's some artillery here. Is there anyone else following them? I don't think so. But we've got a carrier coming around to try and help things out. Golden Age! That's hardly surprising since we've happy in like the first time for a while. Holy fuck, look right. You know what? Just gonna buy a ton of nukes. Could probably buy a fair few allies as well. Don't know what to do, we've got a Golden Age. We're not even using half our trade routes. Uh, every tile that produces gold produces extra. Cities gain plus 20% production and Empire World Culture is increased by 20%. That's pretty nice. You guys just international games, I mean it's 25% complete, but we're just making our way towards getting that. Yeah, priority is liberating Andaga. Brazil's declared one Mongolia as well, which means that now um, we're at the time that we were meant to start this war. Not sure where the Iroquois have gone. Uh, Washington will live to see another day. This maintains New York. Alexander's declared one Sullivan. I'm not quite sure what the effect of that would be. Uh, only thing that I could think of really is um, like city-state allies if Milan's uh, allied to Greece at all. These guys might want to just um, parachute out of here if I'm honest. Because it doesn't look like they're going to be doing much. And some naval warfare might happen. I think that would be about it. Oh wait, no, they have actually got... They did actually have some cities over here, but I think Arabia's gotten all of them. <laughs> Because they are quite vicious. At oh, wait, no, there still is me over here. Yeah, that'll probably be where things are fought. Unless there's something going on in the clouds that I can't see. Oh, yeah, I was planning on buying a nuke, wasn't I? Great scientist born in Grapeville. Fire like that. Attack. Heal. Attack. I think you're best going to Rio now, I think. Unless any of these cities, it's better new. Stoned, uh, just work on international games, I guess. You guys just connect this to the main road. Werner Heisenberg, fun. Just 
just uh, make an academy over there. Priority is still getting back on the dagger. Looks like I'm going to do this turn. Liberate that. Go recover their capital and we can deal with surrounding units. As well as moving on to um, Besh Balak, which is almost down already. Karakorum, which we're going to save for the nuke. And Turfan. Because I just can't deal with people's shit. But you know, that will go to the Iroquois. And Nuke is going to be built in Wheatley next turn. And the same time in Sparta. Oh, this is Sparta. Ooh, this is an interesting development. Kamehameha has declared war on Suleiman. I believe, for, again. Which means that they're probably going to make some gains around here. They have been expanding quite a bit. I should maybe look out for them. Quite a few people are though, it's just sort of at this point in the game, people get a bit bored of the normal things that you're supposed to do in the game. And it's just sort of, you get big empires forming at this point. No longer friend of Kassil. Whilst that's sad, I don't really need them. It'll be a while before we vote on any leader of that anyway. Unless I enter the information here, which I'm going to do with telecommunications, so. Might get the world ideology of freedom through that, because um, China would vote for it, Iroquois, I think, would vote for it, Brazil and uh, Indonesia would vote for it, and I've got the city-state allies to back me up, so it might actually end up being the world ideology. Kowloon's kind of getting surrounded up here. There we go, Besh Balak is ours now. Uh, we'll give that away later. Although we could just annex it now. We don't honestly actually need to nuke Karakorum probably. So I have got a carrier coming around here. This carrier I think should go to Arabia to keep them in check because I'm a bit worried about them. Wheatley, you kind of deserve a wandering Etty. Is there a better place to produce that? Apparently you can't produce that here anyway. Or maybe because it's being produced in Wheatley already. No? Apparently something that prevents it from building Sydney Opera House. Ah oh well. Wheatley, you guys could do with a wonder, I suppose. I don't know if you've had, I don't think you've got any. Labamba. International Games. You guys as well. And we have a nuke over here. Oh, it's so tempting. But I must resist. You guys, university, immediately. Best Balak should get a courthouse, probably. Not sure what to call that yet. And Heisenberg can construct an academy. And we have an atomic bomb in Wheatley as well. Uh, what are the options for rebasing these? Because I don't really need that for that anymore. Can this just go straight over here? Or is there a limit to where it can actually go for rebasing? Incidentally, uh, just notice this. They've actually built um, the rocket uh, pad for when I'm building that. What are the options for rebasing this? Can we base it like that? I'll have to wait again if I want to do that again. Is there like a certain range that you have to do it within or do they have to have an airport? Don't know what the rules are on that. Where would be best to stop? I think New New Rome. Um, just I can buy some things. Uh, if you do need an airport to be rebased things uh, for, then just do that there. And uh, we can also just buy an atomic bomb here. Uh, you guys can come down to Turfan because that's our next area that we need to take down. Uh, yeah, you guys can actually rebase to New New Rome there. Uh, we'll just stop the carrier off and then it can go off to Mecca and we'll have honestly as many as we need. Actually, just quickly buy a carrier here as well because then we have two carriers for it. We can send them off all over the world. Incidentally, loads of faith as well. Uh, may as well get a great profit over here. It's just beaming in general. It's nice to have money. There's some uranium over there that I haven't mined. Uh, Indonesia's declared one siege on. I mean, it's now confined to Australia, but I mean, you can do your worst, I guess. Greece has made peace with the Iroquois. That's a glad thing. Because I'll say I will fuck them up if they try anything. Very pleased to hear of my um, proposal at the Sixth Council, that's to make the world ideology freedom, and they are freedom, so that's to be expected. Fortunately, still uh, got a lot of trade routes to build, but we're in a golden age, so we can afford it at the moment. Um, I see it seems to be a bit confused here, right? It's just firing endless missiles. 
But that's that gone now, although it, this whole place is burning now. International games update, it's 35% uh, complete. We've probably contributed most of that. Chinese spy stole the secrets of dynamite from Rome. Well, considering that's an industrial era uh, technology and I'm nearly in the information era, I'm not that worried about that, in all honesty. Uh, Milton Keynes just uh, adds to the international games. May as well just get that over quickly. We've got a carrier here. Two atomic bombs there. We've got one atomic bomb in... I think I, don't, I, think I moved it to Rome. Yeah. Also, incidentally, uh, just having atomic bombs would be worth seeing if that makes everyone afraid of me now. Nuclear weapons are having no effect. A lot are having an issue with my warmongering though. Uh, issue of global prom prominence will soon sink the world into a new dark age. Pedro is afraid of me. Fair or great might. Only person afraid of me is um, Pedro and he's my ally. That saddens me. Oh well, I'll just have to crush everyone to make me feel better. Honestly, it doesn't matter what I do in a lot of places now. It's just sort of randomly placing things. Just send a great profit over to there, just so that we can convert that. Okay, so well, we have one carrier here already. We can send that off to Mecca. We could send two things on it, but I am just going to send one, because um, you only really need one atomic bomb per, se uh, per city, I find. Other one can go to somewhere in uh, South America. Or I could send the other one up to um, Delhi. Yes, okay, I'll send one up to Delhi, send one to Mecca. Uh, one will stay outside Greece, and the one over here should go over to the Americas, and just South America in general, either Indonesia or Polynesia. And honestly, I could take Seoul and uh, Busan back by force from Brazil, because I don't honestly need them, but I'm, I'm not going to just attack my allies, so that seems a bit much. Yeah, we're not quite that stage of warmongery yet. Oh, actually, yeah, I, d I said that I actually don't need a nuke for Karakoram because I don't, I guess, just move down to deal with Karakoram and that'll be that. Just get rid of these guys as well. So this is what we do when someone fucks with our friends. It's clear to all oh, they're afraid of me as well. See, that fear might have kicked in towards more people. Though they all just seem guarded at the moment, they seem to be actually holding strong, which is frustrating. Because they is in awe of me. Might as well get them as an ally, actually. I don't know, see, I want to buy at least one more nuke. Although I am going to go mine some uranium, so the possibilities are endless. I can nuke whoever I want. Uh, I am going to start moving some units just towards Athens, because I want to attack that. Oh, hang on. I'm not sure what the... Um, blast radius of a nuke is. I might have to test that out on someone other than Greece. Uh, solar plant sounds like a good idea in Fireball and International Games in Zulu Aware. I do want to try nuking someone before this is up, but the question as to who. Beijing is actually a perfect target. Uh, hang on, I just need to check my where different units are going. Um, date that to a land ship, I guess. There's a lot of things that just need upgrading and updating. That to artillery, just so that, that doesn't get outdated. Oh yeah, I forgot of building a nuclear weapon over here as well. I don't, I don't actually need that many nukes, I don't think. You guys, I guess, could be updated to a machine gun. In all fairness, I'm probably just best to move everything up to Cowland, I think, that I need up there. Or uh, around side Shanghai. Uh, be interested speaking to them, seeing if... They have any other cities up north, because I think uh, you do get to see basically all their cities if you ask for... Fucking hell, Arabia, die. Just stop. Arabia is the only empire that actually really poses any threat to me. No idea how many cities I've got now as well. Just check that. 35, I think. I could just get to a Uh, fine, but make peace with the Iroquois as well. If you have no desire to go to peace with this player, then I cannot do anything because that would put me in a position where I can't declare war with them. And I can easily take their entire empire, so I don't understand why I wouldn't. Who's that ally of Catman do now? Ottomans. I know who's at war with the Ottomans as well. Uh, Hanoi's gifted me a new unit as well. That'll be in Sheepman, I believe. Yes, just some infantry. Build a monument, seriously. Now you guys just fire on Karakorum. I'm gonna start besieging that. You guys move in. Uh, yeah, probably just heal there, add to some cannon fodder. Uh, you guys can probably just head 
up and back to Carolland. Uh, if Carolland hasn't got an airport, don't know what it might do. Might not be able to rebase this over there, which is an airport. 9.30. Yeah, I can get that soon. I'm just declaring war on these guys just for the heck of it, really, just to test out my nuclear weaponry. Nice to there's a machine gun down here, but probably just keep that there. I could upgrade that to a bazooka just to keep that place safe, because it's probably going to be a place that I'm using to ferry some nuclear weapons around. Keeping them here if we ever go to Greece, which may well happen. I only expect this to be a few more episodes anyway, uh, but because I'm doing a lot in each episode, like per turn, uh, I don't actually get through a lot of time. Uh, I need time, really, so it might take longer than necessarily expected. Natural wonder found, Krakatoa. Don't know how I found that. Oh, my carrier went around there. Some extra happiness and that gives you a bunch of science. Interesting. Uh, just spread religion over here. I may as well spread blood to six states uh, when I'm done with that. Your wife has made peace with Kathmandu. Oof, they actually killed one of my units. Well done, I only took the entire city. And it looks like Singapore's gonna do half the work for me in Tofan. Greece now ally of Sydney. Uh, I'll have to just go buy that back. Now friends with Laventa, that's nice. These guys have got no chance against me now. Truff, so just international games there. Or we just get some basic things like a library, that would be good. But some things are a bit all over the place at the moment, but our military is arriving slowly. Kamehameha committed uh, Prora, but that's an autocracy thing that I think only Greece and Polynesia went for autocracy. Izmir has been captured by Greece. Well, that's not wholly surprising. Greece is definitely planning to attack, not Greece, Brazil. Mongolia captured my fucking prophet. Assholes. You really had to go out your way to do that as well. Actually, I think they were just coming back from uh, taking Onondaga. Telecommunication. The more we elaborate our means of communication, the less we communicate. I think that means we're now in the information era. Right, just quickly. Buy an airport over here. Rebase this atomic bomb over to here. I really hope that's just a range thing and that can actually do that. I'm not sure how much it... No, they have 39 influence, right. They have really spent a lot of money on that. Uh, you guys just did international games. Next research though, I think satellites. I could go for advanced ballistics and get even more nuclear shit, but it's just sort of, why not just have the whole map and uh, Hubble Space Telescope as well. Oh, we got a new spy as well, should probably place that. Uh, if there's not already a spy in Sydney, place it there. If not, just place it some random city state. Korea and Mongolia now friends, because of course they are. Yeah, Brazil's definitely planning to attack me. Not sure what they expect to get out of that though, because I will not hesitate to nuke them. Sadly that has died there. In all honesty, I might just uh, make a peace deal where I get to a fan or something, because I can't be asked taking care of Gorham at the moment. And then I really just want to test out a nuke, and Beijing's the easiest place to do that. Plus I got the happiness to annex things, and you know, why not just do it in China, because they're nearby and they're sort of in the middle of my territory, it feels. World Congress has become the United Nations, uh, which means this era, six delegates for a host civilization, four delegates uh, for other civilizations, plus two delegates per city state ally and world leader proposal on alternating sessions. Regular, my new spy, just moved to like, Antwerp or something. Means quickly we have got a new session where we have an equal amount of seats because they took this at the last second. Not sure what happened in this case, if there's a draw. Honestly, I want to find out. Commit delegates. Uh, just kill that quickly. Oh uh, yeah, peace. <laughs> Unfortunately, that means that I'll cede that great profit to them, but... Uh, Turfan, please. Thank you. Sorry, you just called me a bitch, but whatever. Turfan is now mine. Uh, what should I call this? Uh, it says nothing interesting here. I guess it's just turf, because it's my turf now. Home turf. Let's call that. Or actually... <laughs> Fuck turfs. <laughs> yeah, it's spelled with an E. But that is an army waiting to invade me. But it's made up of riflemen and cannons, so not all that worried. But uh, we'll see what that's about. Rebase. Yes, you can rebase to here. Next turn, we'll drop a nuclear bomb on China. Edgy mate, don't do the CN Tower there. Yeah, just International Games, which is at 56%. Uh, do CN Tower in Pate. That gives a uh, 
broadcast tower in every city. International games basically everywhere except here because that needs a courthouse. Honestly, some people should probably go to start stuff as quickly as possible. Might just want to wait uh, before we launch our attack proper. And paratroopers can just get there extra quick if I need to. Move this atomic bomb onto this carrier. No, honestly, I have too many of these anyway. I'm going to go send this off down to South America just in case I ever need it. Right, let's see what happens with United Nations and then we'll drop atomic bomb on China and then we'll finish. Wittenberg election rigged as well, but uh, oh, that's for me. See, I, elect, I rig elections systematically. I don't do coups. I'm not that dirty. <laughs> Greece remains host, but I have more seats than them. Bastard. Stole that from me. Uh, any wonders that we can get? Nope. It's kind of weird we don't have an airport in our own capital. We should probably get that. Uh, do a research lab over here. Just producing random things now. Yeah, sure, a public school. Why not? A okay, university over here. How far can you go? We could just go outside Delhi if we fancied it. Yeah, let's not do that. Just careful what you do with that. Don't want to just throw it into the sea. Okay, now the time has come to drop a nuclear bomb. like our first test really. What, does. what does that do to the population there? Wow. Down to nine. What does the fallout do? Okay, I'm not sure if it's dangerous to walk through this. I mean probably realistically is. By the looks of it food has certainly been reduced in the area just to be expected uh but i guess i may as well just move in i am a bit worried about brazil but you know it's got good defense i think it's got a castle there possibly even an arsenal yeah i think it's just a castle but still it'll hold i think it's got the best defense out of all my cities to be honest not just sheep man equals it actually pays slightly better but it's besides the point anyway gonna wrap up there so yes very first nuclear weapon on china mainly because there's not really a reason for it i just i just wanted somewhere to test it and athens is a bit close plus it's a bit of a commitment going toward greece uh we'd essentially wipe korea out. i mean they're still in australia i'm annoyed that i gave this to fucking brazil because i just got the happiness afterwards and now I'm fine. In the Golden Age as well. Took over parts of Mongolia. Although I did plan to get that to Uruguay. Oh, still need to rename this. I suppose because they've been such nice sports. And I can't think of a name. You guys can have Besh Balak. No, nope, that's your cities. You literally have nothing. Can I have some coal? And you literally have nothing else. I'll just keep it. I'll have to think of a name though. I've got an idea. There we go. Little Star Trek reference there. I think that's us done. We'll hopefully get um, Olympics done or international games um, next time. And along with a couple of wonders and probably take over China just casually. Incidentally, is that their city up there? Because I'm a bit worried if it is. Looks like it might be. Oh, I can't talk to them about anything right now. Okay. Oh well. I've been Fireball and this has been Civilization 5 Part 28. Bye.